In this video, we talk about variance for continuous random variables. In the previous video, we talked about the expected value for continuous random variables. In particular, we saw that the expected value of a continuous random variable x is given by this integral. It's very similar to the formula for uh, the expected value of discrete random variables. The difference here is that we are using uh, integrals as well as a probability density function instead of probability mass function. We also talked about the expected value of a function of a random variable. So if I have a g of x, a function of x, then we talked about how we can obtain its expected value. In particular, we talked about this formula here. Uh, the, the expected value of g of x is given by this integral. So today I want to talk about variance for continuous random variables. This is very similar to the discussion that we had uh, for variance for discrete random variables. Uh, remember that for discrete random variables, we defined variance as the expected value of x minus mu x squared, where mu is just expected value of x. And um, we discussed that the variance shows how spread out the distribution is, uh, how far we are from the expected value of x on average. And the same concept is true here. And uh, in fact, the definition of variance for continuous random variables is exactly the same thing. So this uh, definition is valid for uh, continuous random variables as well. So in particular, if you think about it, x minus mu x squared, it's a function of x, right? You can call this g of x. So I can obtain um, expected value of this function, expected value of g of x, using this formula here. This is integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, x minus mu x squared fx of x dx. So this is the definition of variance of x. So I can find variance of x using this uh, integral. Or I can use this uh, definition as well. Uh, so I can write this, you know, again, x squared is a function of x. So I can find write this as integral from minus infinity to plus infinity x squared fx of x dx minus this is just mu squared so here's the definition variance of x for a continuous random variable is given by the expected value of x minus mu x squared which can be obtained using this integral or you can find it using the equivalent uh, formula uh, here which is given by this integral minus mu x, uh, x squared. And all the properties that we discussed are valid here. In particular, variance of ax plus b is equal to a squared variance of x for any a uh, in R. So if I have x, a uh, random variable x, and then I define another random variable y equals 3x minus 1, then variance of y is equal to 9 variance of x. And of course the concept of the standard deviation is the same here. In particular sigma, the standard deviation is the square root of variance. Okay, so let's look at an example to make sure that we can uh, do all these calculations and find the variance of a random variable. So example, let x be a continuous random variable. read pdf if x of x equals 3 over x to the 4 for uh, x larger than or equal to 1 and 0 otherwise. So my question is, what's variance of x? I suggest that you find variance of x before watching the rest of the video. Okay, so let's solve this. Before solving this, let's first check that this is a valid uh, PDF. Well, it's positive, um, so that's good. And also, we need to check that if uh, integral from minus infinity to plus infinity of x of x dx is equal to 1. Is this true or not? So let's do that. This becomes integral from 1 to infinity, 3 over x is 4 dx, and it's a good uh, thing to note that integral of x to the minus m d 
dx is equal to 1 over minus m plus 1 x minus m plus 1 so if we use that here uh, we obtain that this integral equals to minus 1 over x to the 3 uh, so from 1 to infinity and if you put infinity you get 0 if you put 1 you, could, you get minus 1 so the whole integral becomes 1 so that's good so the PDF integrates to 1 so now let's find the variance so variance of x is equal to expected value of x squared minus mu squared so mu is equal to expected value of x is equal to integral again from minus infinity to plus infinity x f x of x dx in this case it becomes integral from 1 to infinity x times f x which is 3 over x is, uh, x to the 4 dx so integral from 1 to infinity 3 over x 3 dx and this integral becomes becomes 3 over 2 x to the minus 2 from 1 to infinity again I'm just using this formula here so this becomes uh, yeah 3 over 2 if you put infinity you get 0 if you put 1 you get 3 over 2 so that's mu now let's find expected value of x squared this is equal to integral from 1 to infinity x squared 3x4 dx becomes integral from 1 to infinity 3 over x to the 2 dx becomes minus 3 sorry if I forgot minus here there's a minus here minus 3 uh, x to the minus 1 1 to infinity and that becomes 3 so um, I found expected value of x squared I found expected value of x so I can find variance variance of x is equal to expected value of x squared minus e of x squared is equal to becomes 3 minus 3 over 2 squared and this becomes 3 minus 9 over 4 becomes 3 over 4 so variance of x is given by 3 over 4 okay thank you